while since I've uploaded a video, and um, this is the reason why. Uh, me and my dad and my two uncles bought this J3 Cub um, back in October, and um, this is the main reason why nothing has been happening on the Super Cub project, or at least not that much stuff has been happening, just because I've, I've had so much fun um, flying this airplane. Um, so I thought I'd show this to the channel. I'm going to be flying this out to Oshkosh um, this coming Saturday. And I'm going to stay out there for a few days and then fly it back. So it's a big trip, um, and it should be uh, pretty fun. My longest cross country in any airplane, and especially in this airplane. Um, so I'll do a bit of a walk around on the airplane, show you guys the airplane, and, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and change the oil. So I'll probably uh, vlog that and vlog the uh, you know, preparations for getting ready to go on the trip. All right, so as I was saying, uh, this is a 1946 J3 Cub. Um, originally this airplane came with a 65 Continental, but since, since then uh, they've put a 85 horsepower on it. So it has um, single pilot. It's actually pretty, pretty fun to fly. It's got a lot of power. Um, I mean for a J3. Uh, two people, it's a little more uh, anemic, but it, it still, uh, still gets off of our short little runway here at the farm pretty well. Um, so this airplane, you know, it was at the airport that we fly at and, um, we kind of saw it around when we would fly up there and it's just a very nice example of a J3. It was restored, I believe, back in 2001 for a museum and, um, and then it sat in the museum for a while and, um, and then it was bought by uh, the previous owner, and then and now we own it. So um, it went under a fairly extensive restoration. Um, you know, a uh, rear part of the fuselage was replaced with new steel tubing. Uh, the wings got uh, redone, and they're basically new wings. We have sealed struts, um, painted fabric. And um, then the previous owner uh, added the wing tank STC on this airplane. So that gives us 10 and a half gallons usable in addition to the, um, to the 12 that it has up front. So, so that does like extend the cross country capability of this airplane by just giving you, you know, a, a good amount of time that you can be aloft um, without having to, to run and duck for uh, fuel. Um, what else? Paint is all really nice on this airplane. Um, does have the original cub wheels and brakes and tubes. Metal prop. The old um, cork and wire fuel indication, which is fun. This thing has been kind of sticking in flight. But it does, does an okay job. You just shimmy, shimmy the airplane. It'll fall down in there. And so, yeah, not a, not a ton of stuff to see on it, but, um, you know, it is in, in great shape. The fabric's really nice. The fabric covering job is really nice. All the glass is, is quite nice and not beat up. Even the cowling and everything is all in pretty good shape. And the interior is, is done quite nice. Um, you know, these J3s are all a little bit different, but... Um, pretty happy with this one like the black seats and how they did the, the curve up with the white uh, with the yellow versus the black um, got your standard cub instruments there I always enjoy this thing the altimeter super precise kind of flops around between thousand feet but you look outside and see how high you are there's a holder that the headsets mounted on for the iPad for four flight um, handheld VHF radio, there's your comm, and then I added a um, ADS-B receiver so I can get traffic weather when we're heading across country. And then uh, the thing we just did is add this 10 amp hour lithium battery um, from Dakota Lithium. And then we just power every, all the systems or all the various bits and bobs off of one battery and then we only have to keep one battery charged rather than, well we used to have one, two, three, four batteries we'd have to look after. And it 
It's just a lot. So this way we just keep one and it's um, plugged in and charged and we don't have to worry about it. I gotta get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'll make it today, but we're in Maryland. Uh, Frederick. Oh, Frederick, okay, yep, yep. I'm down in Culpeper, Virginia. Oh, really? Yep, yep. Okay, that cub up there is from Culpeper as well. Yep, yep. Do you know him, oh, Garland? Yeah. Yep. Awesome, well, hey, they all see you flying around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, fuel's on. Bags are, bags are off. Stick back, brakes are on. Throttles off, so just uh, seven times through, forward, right. and then I'll turn it hot. All right, good job. Back, brakes are on, bags are hot. There we go. Thank you.